by Brady. It's Hudson, Brady. Hudson got clear space for the cross. O'Leary. Ball freed Hudson on the right. And the cross found O'Leary well. It just slipped as he hit it. Young in the way was number four Talbot. It was Woods Mariner. That almost caught Arsenal. The ball knocked down unexpectedly from that header by Clive Woods and Mariner. First time and only just wide. Played short, played Nelson into trouble as is Geddes. And Young just missed again. And Clive Woods. Good ball, Osborne, Mariner, hit the bar, and the goal was gaping. Arsenal in the most desperate, desperate trouble then, split all over the place, and Willie Young being patted on the back by Alan Hudson and saying, calm down, the ball slotted through, missed kick there, Mariner got it with his left foot, and Jennings was hopelessly beaten. Walk, seen much of him so far. 10 get his only 19. A tremendous try by the youngster. One of those awkward balls that goalkeepers don't like. It dipped viciously on the way through and bounced that awkward distance on a skinny pitch in front of the goalkeeper. And Pat Jennings, satisfied with just shoveling it away. Last uh, Aliri, this is Mariner, no foul given. He's beaten Young. Walk! And Mariner wide. Ipswich hit the post. And then, so wide. Young was beaten there by Mariner. The ball to Walk. Walk into post. Back to Mariner. And yards and Aliri. On to Sunderland. Goalkeeping by an underrated player in Paul Cooper. They say at Ipswich he's the quickest player on the books, and he had to be then. Mills, Talbot, Woods. Twisting and turning the defence, right past Jennings. No one to apply the final touch. The defenders were able to leave it alone. Clive Woods doing what he's done so well in this match all the time, twisting and turning the defender and then getting the cross in. Beat Jennings, he couldn't get his hand to it, but beat the rest as well. It's Talbot towards. Laid on for walk. That is incredible! He's done it twice. He's so deadly for those positions outside the box. John Walk hit the post for the second time in the match. And remember, in the first half, Mariner hit the crossbar. What have we to do? Bobby Robson. Cyril Lee. McMills. Nothing Woods likes better than have the ball delivered to his feet. And once again, the ammunition provided. And right there, with a brilliant save, was Jennings. And Burley came from the back and was not spotted. Woods is cross, and just watch where Burley comes from. Gets right through, the ball splits the defenders, and a magnificent save by Pat Jennings. Geddes. Taking on the defender and winning. Osborne, 1-0. The celebration's justified. Geddes beat the defender on the outside. Willie Young couldn't 
can't do anything else with it except to turn it back. And Osborne, this member of a family of 12 who've come in a special bus to watch the match, puts it away. Osborne, one of the young son midfield heroes in football, one of the workmen of the game, puts his name on the Wembley score sheet, and Ipswich go in front. Sunderland, McDonald, on the left foot. You can't discount McDonald even yet. He really hasn't been able to get in the game. That's the first chance he's really had to get into the game. And the left foot was right on target. But Cooper right behind it. Stapleton. Beatty knocked it back and it was a good ball. Derek Nippard has got two watches out there. They say time, and Ipswich win the cup for the first time in their history. A moment to treasure for Bobby Robson and the East Anglian fans, and they thoroughly deserve it.